TV presenter Erin Molan stated that after making it clear that her long-standing friendship with Prime Minister Antony Arnavutu was over, it all resolved on live radio. Albania called Liv in Molan on two-day FMS, Busi Ed Erin to sort out the tension surrounding a column Molan in the Daily Telegraph, which caused Theto ghost him. But during breakfast show this morning, reconciliation was on horizon as both Albanian and Molan dissolved dust in column titled, Trust Me Albo It's Over, in Breaking Up With You. I didn't bother to read the article. I read the title and that was enough, said Prime Minister of Albania. Camera icon Erin Molan and Australian Prime Minister Anthony Arbanese in September 2022. Credits Aaron Molan LinkedIn Molan stated that title wasn't his fault and instead aimed at stupid tax stuff for the unaffected people rather than Albanian himself. I wouldn't have written a column to leave, I would have done it myself. In fact, I wouldn't have broken up with him if we were out, Prime Minister, Molan said. The show, attended by co-hosts Dave Hughes and Ed Cavalli, continued to receive humorous jabs at the so-called scatter, which Hughes Molan tends to act in that way in many of his relationships. Anthony, you must remember, this is how he manages most of his relationships. He says, I never want to see you again. The next day, where are they? Although Albanians say that there are people who are paid to write columns that attack him every week, he takes pride in his work and sees every day as an honor. You have to get up every day and enjoy life. I really enjoy it, it's an incredible privilege, and this is a great country to represent, he said. The show ended on an open-hearted note, with Cavalier stating that the couple had officially reunited like water under the bridge.